I do. Hopefully, this and the main entry door are the only places water comes into your camper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, with any luck at all. Which one? You know? One of the little silver ones. Little silver ones. If you look at this, you see a little divot right here? Yeah. The divot goes on the straight end of the key. The teeth go away from the divot. Okay, this is where you hook up a hose or give you a hose to take uh -huh. along. This is where you'd fill your freshwater holding tank. Cap off here. And how big is the holding tank? 11 gallons. So stick a hose in there and fill it, mm -hmm. fill the jerry can or funnel or whatever, however you want to get the water in there. Hooking the hose up to this will not fill this tank. Right. It's kind of two different systems or two different starts to the same system. When it comes time to winterize, because it'll be <laughs> way next year, you'll have forgotten. But there's a drain for this tank underneath here, just a little cap, and make sure we take this off, we've got antifreezing already, it's already been winterized. The little cap has got a little rubber donut in there, make sure that didn't end up stick, sticking on here, or dropping off into the gravel, so look for that, but that's the drain for that tank. Okay. So where is the antifreeze? It's just in the in the pipes? The, the actually, I, I don't know how they do it here. Usually the, the water system huh? is blown out, not, not antifreeze put in. The antifreeze here was in the sink trap. Okay. Poured it down the sink trap. Okay. Just okay. enough to fill the trap. Okay. Is that right? I'm sorry. Makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Somebody must have actually somebody must have put antifreeze in here because this is not the sink trap. This is this is your freshwater right. holding tank. Yeah, the sink trap would have come down yeah, here. Yeah. Yep. That off. So so somebody must have put antifreeze in here and used the pump to pump so it into your system. Yep. That's how Russ does it. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's going to be antifreeze in both these then. Well, we can yeah, take that off there, but the, but there. Yeah. That. <laughs> if you if you ran water into the sink. And this got antifreeze in and automatic. Yeah, one little, mm -hmm. yeah. little bit of pink in it. Now, in our little goodie bag, we include an adapter for this to take it from this inch and a half thread down to hose thread. So if you if, if you know you can just take the cap off there, drain it into a bucket, dispose of it. Some places you can hook the adapter on, put the hose into the bush to get away mm -hmm. from your campsite, depending upon where you go camping. Right. Mm -hmm. Or even they make these blue tote things, and you can put the hose on there, right onto the tote, the little connection on the tote, and, mm -hmm. and deal with gray water that way okay. as well. That's pretty neat. Okay, what else is back here? Got a place to put your license plate? Yeah, I can't wait to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. That's going to be a costly plate. <laughs> of course, the air conditioner, don't run the air conditioner in the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> you only got about three minutes of cool, and then the whole thing is up. Uh -huh. and, and the cover just comes off. It's got a couple of bungees down here in the bottom. We don't need, I mean, we can turn it on. No, we're not, we don't need to do that. <laughs> but we'll it's take, not going to we'll run. Take it on faith. Yeah. <laughs> the fan will work. We can call you if it doesn't, right? Uh huh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> when I've, when I, I don't often get to prep trailers, but sometimes I do. And in times like this, 
I'll run the furnace until it gets warm in here, then I'll turn the air conditioner on <laughs> and cool it back down again. Okay, This is the little adapter for your drain. This is a blow-off plug. Okay. Ross, as we just found out, puts antifreeze in the freshwater tank and pumps it through. Okay. I like to just put air in, drain the freshwater tank, run the pump until you get nothing but but air, mm -hmm. and then screw this in where the hose normally goes and shoot some air in and blow out what's left. Okay. Then you don't have to deal with the pink stuff except for the drain. Okay. You still got to put a couple cups down right. the drain. Tire <laughs> wrench? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instructions and a faceplate cover case. Should be empty now. For your stereo. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, it, it, that's an anti theft kind of right, thing. Right, yeah. So, Push the little button, thing pops off, and there you go. Um, before we get to the systems in here, this little thing here is probably the most important piece of equipment. Should something fail in here, mm -hmm. everything that A-Liner bought came with an owner's manual, and okay. it's in this bag. Okay. okay. Great. Fantastic fan, refrigerator, furnace, even these little ground fault circuit interrupter things, mm -hmm. LP leak detector, power center, you know, there's a book on it. Okay. Um, there's also this little thing, which remind me when we get to it, this is for the fantastic fan. Okay. Um, there is storage under this bed. Mm -hmm. Good luck getting to it. <laughs> <laughs> Not the most clever of all possible ideas. Though. Well, you know, it's just that, you know, to make this into a bed, into a couch, we've got this piece of plywood, we've got three different cushions, and underneath this plywood, there's another two pieces of plywood. And so if you want to get in there, you got a choice of either trying to balance this all on your head, which, which will work short term. But what I do is, excuse me for just a second, I just do like This is the little tricky one. It's all against one corner, pick up one end, and then it just swings out of the way. It's over here. And now, mm -hmm. we can deal with all this storage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not that bad. No. And, you know, for, for getting one item out of there, you can sneak under there. But if you're going to, you know, pack for the weekend, Under here, you have the freshwater storage tank, mm -hmm. water pump, your fill of pipe, that sort of thing, and more storage space. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have this out of the way. There's storage space in here, but not much because you got the stereo taking up all the. Okay. What? Some people find a way to fill any little space. <laughs> well, camping, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you there's don't, another one over you here. You don't want to take it all with you. You want to take more than all of it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, yeah. Notice your power cord. Mm -hmm. And on a cool day like today, yeah. good luck. Yep. Yeah, if that's a loop, it's staying a loop. <laughs> it's a loop, a tight one, too. <laughs> It's about like this. It's not even a loop, it's a ball of cord. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, also, over here also we have a power converter. Oh, wow. Fuses like your house. Mm -hmm. The 30 amp here is the main one. Shuts off the whole power converter, the 120 volts. Um, the 20 is branch circuit. One of the branch circuits goes that way from here. Mm -hmm. So the refrigerator, the this outlet, is in one side of the 120. Another circuit comes around this way and does the air conditioner in this outlet here. The third one just runs the power converter itself when it converts 120 volts when you're plugged in to 12 volts. Charges the battery, does a really good job charging batteries. 
Over here we have all kinds of fuses. The 15 